All right, my friends, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna to be talking about Huntersville, North Carolina. We're gonna be taking a deeper dive into Huntersville and talking about the pros and cons of living in Huntersville, North Carolina. Great suburb just outside of Charlotte. I live on the border of Huntersville. I absolutely love it. Love going to Huntersville. Sometimes I don't like the little country roads, two lanes and all the trees and the deer that I see from time to time, but I do love Huntersville because it's got one of my favorite places to visit. We're gonna talk about Huntersville right now, guys. Let's get to the video. I'll be right back. All right, friends, welcome back. My name is Sean Gerald, if you're new to the channel. I am a local Charlotte native. I'm a real estate agent. I am a brokerage owner. I'm an investor. I am a U.S. Marine an Airbnb host. To all my Marines out there, listen, number one, simplify hard charges. Thank you for your service. And for those of you that served in other branches, listen, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you guys a salute as well and thank you also for your service. I'm sorry my beloved Marine Corps wouldn't take you in and it's okay. Listen, you still served your country proudly and I wanna tell you, thank you. We love our veterans over here at Lifestyle International Realty, guys. And listen, today, we're gonna to be talking about all things Huntersville, North Carolina. We're gonna go through the pros of living in Huntersville. We're gonna talk about some cons of living in Huntersville as well. I think overall, you guys are gonna enjoy the video. And the next video, you stay tuned for that. We're gonna actually do some home tours out in Huntersville to give you guys an idea of what it's gonna cost to live in Huntersville and whether it's new construction or an existing home. And I tell you what, I speak to folks like you every single day, okay? And I do mean every single day. Listen, got a couple of closings coming up here. As a matter of fact, one tomorrow and then one next week with some folks just like you from YouTube that reached out to me sometime earlier this year and wanted to get a new construction home. So it doesn't matter if you're moving here in nine days, nine weeks or nine months, I'm here to serve you. Again, my name is Sean Jerk. My information is gonna be in that description box below. Please check that out. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Listen, it helps us grow, helps more people learn about the Charlotte Metro, and hey, helps my channel out as well, all right? Listen, guys, we're gonna jump right into it right now, and we're gonna talk about pro number one for living in Huntersville. And that's gotta be the proximity to living close to Charlotte, North Carolina. Huntersville is ideally located just 12 miles from Uptown Charlotte. It's a short 20 to 25 minute commute via I-77, depending on the time of day, okay? This proximity does allow for residents to access the bustling job market, nightlife, and cultural attractions of Charlotte, such as the Blumenthal Performing Arts Center and the Spectrum Arena and Carolina Panther Stadium. Guys, listen, the Charlotte Knights Baseball Stadium in Uptown, there's a lot to do in Uptown Charlotte. And Huntersville living there, guys, in that sleepy suburb that's waking up right now is gonna get you back to all those great amenities in the greater Charlotte Metro in minutes without living in the midst of all the city congestion. It's also a 30 minute drive to Charlotte Douglas International Airport, making it convenient for business travel and for vacation. This makes Huntersville particularly attractive to professionals working in Charlotte's financial district or those who frequently travel for work. We've got an express lane that you can use to actually get back and forth from Uptown Charlotte up to Huntersville, that HOV lane. So you do have that option as well if you're gonna be driving and traveling to, to work back and forth to Charlotte. Traffic can get a little bit hairy going back and forth. So just keep that in mind if you do decide you wanna live out in Huntersville, all right? Second guys, access to outdoor recreation. You've heard me say it a lot. It is an outdoor paradise in the Charlotte Metro because of the weather, all the amenities up you know, around the Charlotte Metro. It's a great place to be. Huntersville's close proximity to Lake Norman, this is the largest man-made body of water in North Carolina, offers residents an array of sailing, boating, paddle boarding are popular pastimes. You ride down Lake Norman, you're gonna see people on jet skis, yachts, you name it. Additionally, you've got Ladder Park Nature Preserve which spans about 1,400 acres and offers hiking, kayaking, horseback riding, and a raptor center, ideal for families and outdoor enthusiasts. The Torrance Creek Greenway offers additional scenic walking and biking trails. Lake Norman alone can be a huge lifestyle advantage. 
offering sophisticated buyers the potential to purchase waterfront property, enjoy private marinas, or have access to elite yacht clubs right here in Huntersville, right outside of Charlotte. You can have the kind of lifestyle that you want to build right there in that little town that I absolutely love to visit, especially Burkdale Village. Here's the third thing, guys. High quality schools, all right? Education is a strong factor for families in Huntersville. Lake Norman Charter School ranks as the 14th best high school in all of North Carolina with a college readiness score of 88%, a testament to its academic rigor. Other top schools include Grand Oak Elementary and Hopewell High School. My brothers went to Hopewell High School. Several private schools such as Cannon School offer specialized education for those seeking alternatives. Guys, high property values and the town's focus on education make Huntersville a hub for families seeking top tier education without the high private school tuition of larger cities. So gig, listen, Huddersville can be a great place for you if education is gonna be important. But you did hear something in that as well. Listen, to pay for those great schools, all right? You've gotta have a great tax base. And how do you do that? High home prices, all right? A little bit slightly higher taxes, but you're gonna talk about that in a moment, okay? We're gonna talk about safety and crime as number three pro for living in Huntersville. Huntersville does boast one of the lowest violent crime rates in the greater Charlotte Metro with just 135 violent crimes per 100,000 residents. It ranks far below both North Carolina and the national averages. The emphasis on neighborhood safety makes this a very secure investment for families. This factor is critical for luxury buyers as well who value peace of mind and want to ensure that their investments are secure and in secure neighborhoods. So again, low crime rate out in Huntersville, North Carolina. I don't talk crime a lot because you got crime everywhere, but I did want to point that out. Listen, if you spend that kind of money for a home, you want to make sure that you're going to be safe. If you've got a family, that they're going to be safe as well. And if you are traveling for work, that your family's going to be safe. Super important to me as I live right here in the Charlotte Metro and live right there on that border of Huntersville, North Carolina. You can feel it when you get into Huntersville too, man. It's just so green. I, I, lo I love it. Depending on which way you go anyway, it is so green. And the water, there's so much of it. <laughs> you gonna love it out in Huntersville, guys, all right? Number four, we got a strong local market and local economy out in Huntersville, all right? Huntersville benefits from a median household income of approximately $122,000, which is significantly higher than both the state and national averages. Key sectors driving this growth include technology, healthcare, and education. Many residents commute to Charlotte for jobs with major companies like Bank of America, Wells Fargo, and Atrium Health. But local employment is also strong in business, such as Ensemble Health Partners and Jackrabbit Technologies, just to name a few. This combination of a robust local economy and access to Charlotte's major industries provides a stable foundation for long-term property value appreciation, all right? You know that's important to me as a real estate agent. I wanna make sure that your property values are gonna stay high. That brings us to our next pro on our list, all right? This is gonna be a vibrant community atmosphere. And yes, it is. Huntersville is known for Southern hospitality. We all are. But Huntersville is known for its Southern hospitality. And I don't want to hear any of you folks that have moved to Charlotte talking about we're not nice. We are nice. We're out here in the Charlotte Metro, man. We smile, we say hello, and we greet people with a nod, okay? It's just the Southern way. We hold doors for each other. I, I love that personally. Some people don't like it, but I love it. I love speaking to my neighbors. But Huntersville does offer that, that Southern hospitality, that, that town's, you know, small town feel of Southern hospitality. The town fosters a tight-knit community feel through local events such as the Huntersville Christmas Parade, Renaissance Festival, and the seasonal farmers markets, social clubs, and golf courses such as the North Stone Country Club. And guys, it is beautiful. Okay, further promoting a community bond. You will love the North Stone Country Club, my friends, my God, it is beautiful. All right, buyers seeking a balance between privacy and community involvement will appreciate the town's events that foster a sense of belonging. It is a great community. It's gonna feel like a small town. Huntersville, again, is absolutely amazing. You will love it 
The Strait of Charlotte Metro is outstanding, my friends, okay? I always say it's amazing, because it is amazing, all right? You got shopping and dining. And I keep mentioning Burkdale Village because I love going to Burkdale Village. I'm a really picky, plain eater. I love the Cheesecake Factory. So I go to Burkdale Village and go to the Cheesecake Factory. We only have one at South Park Mall in Charlotte. They put one up in Burkdale in the last year, I should say. And man, I love going there. I probably visit that, that Cheesecake Factory up in Burkdale Village at, at least once a month. Okay, to go in and, and, and feed my belly. Okay, uh, you guys watch me enough, you know I love to eat. So, Burkdale Village does offer 60 plus retail shops, a variety of restaurants. You've got luxury residential spaces and a walkable setting. It's amazing. You got restaurants like Dressler's Fine Dining, Red Rock Cafe. I just mentioned to you, you got the Cheesecake Factory that just opened up. This is gonna draw residents and visitors alike from around the greater Charlotte Metro. You've got nearby Concord Mills Mall that does offer outlet shopping. This area just offers upscale dining and boutique shopping, making Huntersville appealing to buyers who value luxury and convenience. I'm telling you right now, you're gonna love going to Burkdale Village. It is one of my favorite places to go in all of the greater Charlotte Metro. I mean, we got, listen, you got Valentine, you got Noda, you got, you know, Loso and South End. All these places are great as well. But that Burkdale Village, yeah, it's a go-to spot for me. I love being up there. You've got to visit if you come to Charlotte. They got a little mini like amphitheater with the flat screen TV. Like it's, it's pretty dope. But over there at uh, Burkdale Village, I think you'll love it, all right? So we're going to talk now about uh, the next pro here, guys. This is going to be the variety of new housing developments, and they are popping up everywhere. They're not cheap, but they are popping up everywhere around Huntersville, guys. So Huntersville has seen significant growth in new housing developments, from affordable townhomes starting around the $300,000 price range, true homes to name one community that did that over in Brighton, to luxury estates exceeding $1 million. Buyers can find master plan communities like Vermilion, Skybrook, offering golf courses, tennis courses, and community pools, guys, just to name a few. But I tell you what, there's a ton of communities and new ones popping up all over Huntersville at various price points. New construction offers modern amenities and customization options, particularly appealing for buyers looking for contemporary designs and high quality construction. You've got just about every builder that builds in the greater Charlotte Metro buying for land out in Huntersville, guys. So listen, we're gonna to be touring some of these great builders in our next video. I can't wait to share some of these model homes in these communities with you, because I think you're gonna love it. But if you wanna live out here again, just be prepared. The average price point out here is gonna be slightly higher than it is in Charlotte, but you're gonna be living in great Huntersville with great schools, all right? It's gonna be amazing, all right? Mild climate. Today is October the 30th. It's gonna be 80 degrees in the greater Charlotte Metro with average summer highs in the mid 80s and mild winters where temperatures, listen, very rarely dip below freezing. Huntersville climate supports year round outdoor activities just like the greater Charlotte Metro. You hear me say it all the time, listen, you can get to the lakes, beaches, mountains, all these things, all these outdoor activities. Listen, the Whitewater Center, Charlotte's amazing. Bike lanes, trails, you're gonna absolutely love it. The moderate climate will appeal to buyers who enjoy that outdoor lifestyle without extreme weather changes. It's really ideal also for retirees and active families. We get what we call these half backers, okay? That move from, from the north and move all the way down to Florida and they realize the property taxes are too high. The weather really sucks. It just rains out of nowhere. They'll do that sometime in Charlotte too. But they half back to save taxes, save money and finish out that retirement right here in the greater Charlotte Metro. That's what we call them half backers, all right? We're gonna move on to our next and our last pro for living in Huntersville, North Carolina. And we touched on this briefly. We talked about crime and safety. Well, you've got low property crime out here as well. In addition to low violent crime, Huntersville property crime rate is also significantly lower than neighboring cities. Enhanced neighborhood watch programs and local law enforcement presence contribute to this security. Now look, I'm around Huntersville a lot. I very rarely see police officers. I very rarely 
see police officers. You know, as I'm sitting there thinking about this right now, like I'd have been pulled over by one. I don't recall seeing one driver behind me. You see them occasionally, their cars parked, but I don't see a lot of police officers out in Huntersville. Now you crooks out there, don't go thinking you're gonna go to Huntersville and rob those people and break into the houses. I know you watch these videos too. We value our pew pew rights down in this area. So you better be careful if you think you're gonna to go to somebody's home, all right? Be very, very careful. You've been warned on this video, all right? Buyers looking for safe, long-term investment opportunities will see Huntersville as a secure place to build or purchase a home without the worry of property depreciation due to crime. I like that. I'm sure you will like that as well. We're gonna jump now into our cons of living in Huntersville, North Carolina. If you spend some time in the greater Charlotte Metro, the one thing you're gonna notice immediately is the traffic. Now, I can get from one side of Charlotte to the next one in 30 to 45 minutes, but if I've got a deal with I-77, going up to Mooresville, going back down to, you know, to, to South Carolina, it can be ugly, okay? This is gonna be our first con of living up in the Huntersville, North Carolina area. Listen, commuters face heavy traffic along I-77, especially during peak hours. I think all day is peak hours, okay? While the tone lane does offer quicker access, they do come at a price. And the highways expansion project aimed at easing congestion won't be completed for a few years. It gets pretty stinking ugly out on I-77, and sometimes I absolutely hate it. For professionals commuting daily, especially the Charlotte Subtown area or anywhere in Uptown that you're gonna use I-77, the traffic can add significant stress to your routine, particularly in the mornings and in the evenings. So you gotta keep that in mind if you're gonna live out in Huntersville that you may need to prepare for an increased drive time. Number two con, limited public transportation. I don't think I've ever seen a city bus in Huntersville either. I haven't seen much police cars, but I don't think I've seen a city bus out in Huntersville. While Charlotte does offer some public transportation options, like the Lynx Blue Line light rail, Huntersville itself has limited public transportation services. Most residents do have to rely on their car for day-to-day -day travel. Buyers that are coming from larger cities with extensive public transportation systems may find Huntersville car dependency inconvenient, especially if they prefer a more walkable lifestyle. You're gonna need a car if you're gonna live out in Huntersville. You're just gonna need a car. I don't recall seeing any city buses out in Huntersville. You know, and I, and I sat here and thought about that for a moment. I don't recall seeing any city buses in Huntersville. So you are definitely gonna need to get a car. Listen, you're gonna have a great lifestyle out in the area, but you gotta have a car. Walkability is not gonna be that great unless you like walking on two lane roads on some of the country roads out in Huntersville. You wanna get on I-77 and get some walking done, but I doubt it. You're gonna probably want to invest in a car if you're gonna live out there, all right? Guys, listen, here's con number three. That's gonna be the high cost of living. With a median home price of $515,000, the high cost of living in Huntersville is significantly higher than the North Carolina average. While the quality of life matches the higher costs, this can limit affordability for middle-income buyers. For high net worth buyers, this reflects exclusivity. They love it, okay? But it could deter buyers who are more budget conscious and those relocating from areas with lower housing costs. So just keep that in mind, my friends. You're gonna pay for housing out in Huntersville. And it's also gonna be pretty competitive as well, depending on where you're moving in Huntersville. So just keep that in mind. You've got higher property taxes. This is our next con here, okay? Property taxes in Huntersville are right around 0.6491%. Yeah, I read that, which is higher than some neighboring areas like Mooresville and Cornelius. However, it's still lower than the tax rates of the nearby urban center, Charlotte, North Carolina. Lower tax rate out there, better schools probably than Charlotte, but it's still higher than some areas. You combine that with higher home prices, yeah, it can make some for some affordable. You know, Excuse me. It can make for some unaffordability out of the area. Okay, so just keep that in mind as well. And I just kind of mentioned this as well, guys. Another con here. Okay, competitive housing market due to the high demand and low inventory. Homes in Huntersville do sell quickly, with the average time on market being just seven stinking days. Bidding wars can get common, 
driving prices up even higher. Get those coins ready if you're gonna be trying to buy a home in Huntersville in one of these great neighborhoods that have these top rated schools, it's gonna get a little sticky and you're gonna need to have some money ready to offer, okay? And make bids on some of these homes if it comes down to it or pay a higher upfront due diligence fee, whatever that may be. And listen, ask questions about some of those terms. If you hear me say stuff like a due diligence fee, I'll tell you more about that if you call me, all right? Buyers need to prepare to move fast and potentially pay above asking price in this competitive market, which may not be ideal for those looking for a leisurely home search, okay? So just keep that in mind, my friends, all right? Here's our next con. It's gonna be limited nightlife and cultural amenities. While Huntersville does offer some local entertainment options, the nightlife is relatively quiet compared to nearby Charlotte. This is why you move to Huntersville. Residents often commute to Charlotte for more diverse dining, theater, and cultural experiences. Buyers looking for a vibrant social scene or cultural activities will need to travel outside of Huntersville to Charlotte to get those experiences. So you again, you're gonna spend some time on the road if you move to Huntersville, but the good thing about it, it's a very short leisurely drive into Charlotte to get your nightlife going, okay? If you're doing it during the daytime, it's not leisurely, but in the evenings, get to in and out of Huntersville pretty easy, my friends, okay? Just keep that in mind as well. Entertainment options are gonna be nil. You have some dining, you know, some restaurants, things like that, man. Outdoor entertainment, you'll get that. But for the vibrant, the cultural activities, you're gonna come into Charlotte, all right? Hot and humid summers. That's the greater Charlotte Metro. This is our next con, my friends. And it may not be a con for you. I actually like it hot and humid in the summertime. I hate winter being cold. I'm ready for it to go away. But this is why I love Charlotte because it, October 30th, it's gonna be 80 degrees today. I can rock my short sleeves, okay? Give me some shorts if I want to. I love that. Summers in Huntersville are gonna be hot and humid. Okay, with July temperatures often reaching into the high 90s, listen, sometimes it's just under 100 degrees, which may make it very uncomfortable for some people. For those that are sensitive to heat, the climate could be a drawback, especially for buyers seeking a more temperate environment. Now, look, I had a guy in from Florida, you know, a couple of weeks ago, and he thought it was just way too cold here. We had on short sleeves. It was about 80 degrees, but he did not like that. So, I understand, man, the temperature can be, you know, a cost or you not moving to an area. But here, you're going to get all four seasons. So don't let that deter you from moving to the Charlotte area. We're going to move to our next con here. And that's going to be urban sprawl, okay? With rapid population growth, Huntersville is seeing more urban sprawl. Now, listen, it's not ugly, it's not bad, but it is getting more urban which can detract from the town's original small town charm. This can lead to lower commutes within the town, and less green space. I think we're a long way from that though, because it is green out in Huntersville and builders are buying land up like crazy. So it's gonna get there. It, without a doubt, it's gonna get there. But right now, I think you're good to go. Buyers looking for that, that quaint small town feel may be disappointed by the increase in development and expanding subdivisions. Move further north. Sheryl's Ford, Troutman, Statesville. You'll be all right. Mooresville, you'll be all right. Okay, I love seeing the growth happening around the greater Charlotte Metro and in Huntersville. And I think you moving here, you're going to love that too. All right, so we're going to get into our last con for living in Huntersville, North Carolina. And that's going to be limited cultural attractions, okay? While Huntersville does offer family-friendly attractions like the Carolina Renaissance Festival and local farmer's markets, it does lack the depth of cultural amenities found in Charlotte, such as large-scale museums, art galleries, and theaters. For these, residents typically drive to Charlotte's more developed arts and cultural district. Buyers who value cultural engagement and proximity to major artistic hubs may view this as a drawback, especially if they're accustomed to living in urban centers with a robust art scene. I can imagine if that's you, you're not gonna live in Huntersville. But I can also imagine if that's you, you're gonna live in Huntersville because you know you can get back to those things in 20 to 30 minutes. Overall, Huntersville is an amazing center to live in. Again, depending on where you live in Huntersville, you don't know if you're in Charlotte or Huntersville. Okay, I crossed that line back and forth 
just about every single day because I'm going to restaurants there. I'm going to shop over there. I'm going to the Target over there. Okay, I'm going to, listen, my favorite car dealerships right there, all right? I'm in Huntersville all the time. Most of us that live on this side, the northern part of Charlotte, we're in Huntersville quite often. Huntersville is a great suburb. And the further you go out through Huntersville, the more rural it's gonna get. So if you want that rural feel, that small town feel, you can still get that and get back into Charlotte very easily. But if you want to still have that kind of city feel, you can live on the edge of Charlotte and Huntersville and you got the best of both worlds. My name is Sean Gerald, my friends with Lifestyle International Realty. If you have any questions about Huntersville or any other area around the greater Charlotte Metro, please feel free to give me a call at 704 Three four zero three eight two two. My name is Sean, guys. I am at your service, and I hope you have a great day today. I'll talk to you soon. Stay tuned for that next video. We're going to be touring some homes. Let's go get it.